Alright, so this is the PC2700 uh, meter. So the whole kit, it comes with a meter. And then we have the conductivity probe right here. And this is the temperature probe. And then also the pH probe. Okay, and then it comes with a holder like this for you to hold three probes together. Alright, so now we will start with pH first. So every time we uh, start your measurement, you will need to uh, do calibration for pH probe. Alright, so let me show you the probe first. So this is our glass double junction refillable electrode. Okay, so to open this, you need to unscrew the bottle first to release the pressure. Only you remove the probe. Okay. So you need to be careful because this is made of glass. If you don't take it properly, it will break. Okay. And then here it's for you to um, refill the electrolyte inside. Okay. They will provide syringe and also uh, pH refilling electrolyte in the meter kit as well. Okay. So to make you have to make sure the solution is up to the hole right here. Right, during measurement, we will leave it open like this to, to increase the flow rate of the electrolyte so it will get faster and more stable reading. Okay, so I will put it back here and then we will proceed with pH calibration. Okay, as you can see, the meter right here, it is a USA standard, which is the 4, 7 and 10 standard. And right now, it's not calibrated okay, because it's a new meter. Okay, now we will press Cal. Okay, and then it will go into calibration mode. All right. So to start uh, calibration, first, because the pH probe is stored in KCL, right? So we need to rinse away the KCL first with distilled water. Okay. All right, and then we will tap dry with tissue paper. Okay, do not rub the electrode because um, it will have static and then it will affect your reading. First cal point must be 7, okay? So always start your calibration with pH 7. Alright, so you just dip it in. Okay, maybe I'll use the stand. Okay, so we need to dip in the pH probe with the temperature probe together. Alright, so now you can see the reading is uh, grey colour. Once it's stable, it will become bold. So we'll just wait for it to stable. Now, once it's stable, then we press enter. Okay. So pH 7 down. Okay, then after that you can proceed with 4 or 10 depending on you. Same, we will need to rinse the electrode. And then tap it dry. Then pH 4. Then we enter. Alright, then we can proceed to the last point which is pH 10. Okay, pH 
10. Let me enter. Okay, so calibration is done. So you can see the report, it will be shown on the screen. Okay, USA standard, then uh, 4 to 7 is 96%, and then 7 to 10 is 94.4%. Okay, so a good electrode will be within 92 to uh, 102%. Okay, right? so this meaning that this electrode is in good condition. Alright. And then next we will proceed with uh, conductivity.